Welcome back to Vlatflix. Today we are making top cocktails with mint. But before we start, I wanted to remind that every week we do really cool giveaways on this channel. So this time I prepared a cool custom spoon that you could actually use to stir one of the cocktails that we're about to make. So if you want to be part of this giveaway, all you need to do is just be subscribed to my channel, leave any comment below. We will choose one winner next week. Let's go. There are hundreds of types of mint. The most popular are spearmint. It's a strong, versatile type of mint that can be used in most of the cocktails. Another popular type is peppermint. It pairs well with chocolate and citrus flavors. It has high menthol content. Imagine taste of a chewing gum or toothpaste. So if you overuse it, your cocktail might have a taste of a cough syrup. There are also flavored mint, such as pineapple, apple, orange, chocolate. You can try it in specific recipes like orange whiskey smash or chocolate mojito. And actually, real mojito should be made with, yep, you guessed it, mojito mint. Cultivar originated in Cuba. It has large leaves, much milder flavor with hints of citrus. Grocery stores have only a very limited choice. To have a lot more flavor in your cocktails, I recommend to grow your own mint. Mint doesn't stay fresh for a long time after being cut, so the one you buy from the store has a lot less of the essential oils. And there nothing could be more satisfying than making cocktails with your own homegrown organic ingredients. And let's start with the south side. It's preferred cocktail of the legendary Al Capone, very similar to basil smash. In the shaker or mason jar like I'm using here, pour two ounces of gin. Al Capone would shoot on the spot if bartender used concentrated lime juice from the store, so I will take fresh lime and squeeze one ounce of juice and pour it into the shaker. To balance it, we need half ounce of simple syrup. Before we shake it, let's pick eight to 10 mint leaves and also add them into the shaker. Fill up shaker with ice and shake it for at least 15 to 20 seconds. Using a fine strainer, pour everything into the chilled coupe glass. Of course, if you don't have one laying in your freezer right now, just chill it with ice. Garnish with a mint sprig or pin one large and pretty leaf on the edge of the glass, just like Al Capone preferred. No, I'm just kidding, he probably would put me in cement shoes and drop off at one of the Chicago bridges if I sort him a south side that way. Well, and if you add a little bit of soda, it will become a south side fizz, which you definitely should try. Next cocktail came all the way from Kentucky, and now we're going to make a mint julep. Let's prepare some crushed ice. This strong and refreshing cocktail associated with Kentucky Derby. Traditionally made with fresh mint, bourbon, simple syrup, and crushed ice, served in silver, beautiful cups. But no worries, you can serve it in tall old-fashioned glass or highball glass with a straw. Wait, wait, wait with a metal straw. Traditionally, spearmint is a mint of choice. Let's take eight to 10 leaves and put them into the cup. Preparation could be different. Just like in mojito, fresh mint can be gently muddled, slapped, or shaken to release essential oils. I kind of warned you, it's pretty strong drink, so let's pour two ounces of bourbon. Not every recipe uses Angostura, but it's common to put in mint julep, so I will add two dashes. For now, don't fill it up all the way to the top with crushed ice, just actually put one scoop and stir it thoroughly. Now fill up all the way to the top with crushed ice like it's a cone with 10 ice cream scoops on top. Put julep strainer on top to prevent making a mess with all that crushed ice or drink it with a straw. Garnish with the prettiest mint sprig and this will help you to make smart bets during Kentucky Derby. Good luck. And don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed this series so far. Thank you so much. Making more crushed ice? Yep, that's the sound of mojito in the works. By popularity, mojito is number one cocktail on today's list. I made a full episode dedicated to mojito. And if you love this cocktail, I highly recommend to check it out this really popular video. There are so many ways to make a mojito cocktail. So in this version, I squeeze juice from half of the lime, add half an ounce of simple syrup. Next, I will pour one and a half ounces of the same Cuban rum that made in Puerto Rico. Pick eight to 10 mint leaves and gently muddle it or slap it with your hands to release essential oils. Add a scoop of crushed or regular ice. You can mix it at the end with stirring straw since we use simple syrup and not demerara sugar, but I prefer to stir it before soda water is added. Now you can pour one or two ounces of soda water on top and fill up with crushed ice. Garnish it with a few previous mint sprigs and since you're going to skip vacation in Cuba this year, get comfortable in the living room in front of the TV and start sipping this incredibly refreshing and delicious cocktail. Really would love to hear what kind of mint do you use in your mojito or if you just choose first available at the store. Not every cocktail with mint meant to be sipped by the pool or on the beach. A grasshopper is a sweet, mint flavored after dinner drink. Not clear where the name comes from, but according to Philippe Gouichet, drink was invented in 1918 by him. 
in a bar in the French Quarter of New Orleans, Louisiana, and gained its popularity around the time when I was born. Traditional grasshopper cocktail made with equal parts of creme de menthe, white creme de cacao, and cream. Shake it with ice and strain into the chilled cocktail glass. Really simple recipe, but try different variations such as flying grasshopper if you replace cream with vodka, or if you watching it during summertime, just make it frozen. I really like this drink, but let me know in the comments if grasshopper also on top of your list of your favorite cocktails. Next cocktail is arguably the tastiest on today's list, but you also can make it pop with this really cool presentation. And to do so, we need a few large cubes of ice, cut it in half, and let's put it on the side for now. We're going to shake this drink. I'm not using a standard highball glass, so I will pour two ounces of vanilla vodka. Next, we need half an ounce of white mint liqueur, half an ounce of simple syrup, and also squeeze juice from half of the lime. Before we shake it, put one by one mint leaves and ice on top of each other and make sure that they all land straight. Now add ice, shake it, strain it over the ice and top it with the cucumber tonic water. There are multiple brands available. Try it first, if it's too sweet, just reduce amount of the simple syrup. Stir it gently with bar spoon and be ready to be surprised how perfectly tastes combination of vanilla and cucumber. Let me know who you would make this for and on what occasion. Huge thanks to everyone who participated in the previous giveaway. Our Bloody Mary custom bar set winner is Vicky Bomb. Please send your shipping details to our email address. Well, never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.